Take care of yourself. Oh. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. <laughs> <coughs> oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is Omarion. You're here and there. <laughs> what? You're not on the internet. You would know what's it. going on in Black Twitter. There was a news anchor who said Omarion, and he went, tre he went trending. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Blessings, family. Thank you for clicking on our video. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. We've been noticing a lot of people watching our videos that don't subscribe. And remember, our goal is to get this page to be able to monetize so we can leave the country. So if you can help us on this journey, at least hit the like hit the subscribe so it's been one whole year since we caught the first variant that was around and that was in january to february of 2021 mm -hmm. it is now the end of 2021 and we about four days ago caught the new variant omarion oh i mean omicron so about 10 days ago i was telling marilyn that I would love to see how our immunity handles Omarion and see how would our body react to it. I randomly said it and she was just looking at me like, you're weird, like why, who, who, who? Why would you want to catch this? again yeah why why would you want to catch it or whatever but i'm curious because you know as you know i never got the jab and Marilyn neither and we went to get our immunity test and our immunity was high remember i told you guys i microdose the variants because i work in the hospital with that being said we caught the new variant again and that was about eight days ago for some reason i could not sleep and then i woke up the next morning to get ready for work and i went to try to sleep again before work and i just wasn't sleeping properly and then two days after that i was like i don't feel good and Marilyn was like i don't feel good either and then we realized that we caught omarion hi everybody this is omarion i am an artist not a variant and we were feeling like fine the first day and then the Please, second yeah. and third day we were down and out but we were like this isn't as bad as the first time around yeah because the first time around like the symptoms for me personally were much different mine presented with a headache five days before and then i was knocked on my for 10 days yeah but those five days prior i didn't know that i had been positive and then i took a test and I, it turned out that i was positive and then the first whole 10 days of my quarantine i had like body aches i had chills i had fever i couldn't taste i couldn't smell nothing stuffy nose all of those things and darian too had really bad fever he wasn't feeling well <coughs> he was really really down and out cough he actually had like long cough for almost like two months after and then which which turned out to be GERD because I was eating like crazy spicy foods to burn up COVID but that was also so, in our other video which again I'll link right here it progressed from cough to bronchitis to pneumonia to GERD to a bunch of different things all stemming from cough right and then this presentation was also weird we've been going to hot pilates three to four times a week and we don't wear masks you know we're not required to it's optional to wear masks in these classes so the hot pilates classes are high intensity interval training so it's a lot of breathing so i mean it's a breeding ground for you know the thing that's going around right now yeah but we've, so, we've been going there for a while and we haven't caught it and we yeah. recently found a new studio next to our house and we were like oh let's go to this one so we went there when i was in class i heard someone like sneezing and like sniffling and stuff and i was like but they were behind me far behind so i was like not paying attention to it mm -hmm. but after you know three days i was like hmm, maybe i got it from there because it was a whole new environment i was in very different than the other environments i was in we're out in nature today we're away from people but for me it's been a whole week of having this but five days of knowing that i caught omarion with that being said the first three days of catching omarion i was like wow i feel a lot better like than i did the last time mm -hmm. and then the day after for two days i was down and out i had high fever as Marilyn just explained and like i was just in bed body aches body aches it, it was tough it was like a roller coaster of different symptoms but here is the fifth day or the seventh day i should say since yesterday i've been feeling a lot better so it was about one or two days of the peak of not feeling good I mm -hmm. took a lot of Tylenol and Motrin to like keep my fever down. I had a very high fever. The new variant is around and, and in my opinion, we tend to like stay out the way. We don't go out to do anything crazy or anything like that. We do go to hot yoga. So we don't know if we got it from hot yoga or work. 
But one thing I'm starting to realize is that vaccinated people are not wanting to get tested. I was just about to make that point and too. And there's a problem with that because us people who didn't get the jab, we are very conscious. We have a symptom, let's go get tested. Oh, let's stay out the way because mm -hmm. we don't want to, we are the bad ones that might spread it to the people who are protected by the jab. So we conscious and well aware people who chose to do something different are thinking to stay out the way. But I'm noticing that those who got the job, they're willy nilly mask off, coughing out everything and, and coming to work, not feeling well and having the symptoms, but just playing it off. LeBron James actually posted a meme, I'm gonna put it right here, where it's like, you got the flu, you got the vid. That's what goes on with people who got the job. But people who unjob, they know, okay, any type of sickness is that. Let's stay out the way. Let's go take the test. Let's do what we got to do. Well, yeah, I think that we're just more conscientious because people who've gotten the job <coughs> think that, oh, this couldn't be that. This couldn't be that yeah. because I'm protected. But it's, it's just a cold. Yeah, but it's not, though, because this job does not protect you from getting it or spreading it. The whole reason why we didn't get it in the first place, because you can still contract it and you can still spread it. If you can still spread it and get it, then why are you getting the job? We believe that those with the job are the spreaders. If you think about it, oh, I'm protected. I got the blue job. I got job one. I got job two. I got the boosted job. I got the 2.0 job coming soon. I got all the jobs. I'm a full-time boxer. I'm out back, out jobbing Floyd Mayweather. You form this confidence that you're the jobbing king and queen. So you just, oh, this restaurant allows me without masks? Hell yeah. I'm going out here. I'm going to this concert. Or I have a little snuffle. It don't matter because I'm jabbed up. Mm -hmm. And I'm jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. And you just out here jab spreading. Spreading to everybody. Your germs to us people with natural immunity. But it's okay because we just love building up our immunity. We yeah. just love. Keep, keep, keep spreading it, jabbers. Because what's going to happen is you going to keep jabbing and we going to keep beating this thing. And we just going to be getting stronger and stronger towards it. And someone got to lose this test. In the boxing world, the more jabs you take, is the more you're gonna get knocked out. But in this outside the ring, this job might knock it. You might jab yourself out. You, <laughs> you, might, you, might, <laughs> you might knock yourself out. So take take your time with those jobs, okay? The only job I want is in the boxing ring, all right? We just wanna share that we got the bid for the second time. In and 11 we, months. And we good, honestly, like. That's how we feeling. It was one or two days that we were like, eh, but it wasn't anything like last time because our antibodies are high as hell and we doing good out here. I don't want to cut overconfident the unjob people. I want to let you know, unjob people, take care of yourself. Oh. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Because listen, <laughs> this one was a lot different than the first one. If we ain't take care if of ourselves. I was high blood pressure, diabetes, diabetes heart shortness of breath, asthma, AKA if I was eating, overeating, no exercise, high sugar intake, high salt intake, high liquor intake, I could see Omarion coming for you. I felt mm -hmm. some things and I was like, all praises to my immunity. I work out at least two to three times a week. I tried my best to take care of myself. And I believe that if we were exercising and, and trying to be conscious of what we put in our body, by any means necessary, that vid would've got you. You would've been in all the rooms. It was very different. It was like trying to squeeze my chest, but it's like my chest wasn't allowing it to squeeze. It was trying to create mucus, but my body wasn't allowing it to create mucus. I felt like a battle versus my immunity versus it. And it was a beautiful thing versus last time. It was like, just go ahead and lay down for me real quick. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, I'm coming into your body because you know, I never been here before. So mm -hmm. this time around, it was a lot stronger yeah. than the first time we got it. So unjab folks, please put on your guard, your boxing gloves, the mouth guard, take care of yourself because mm -hmm. it will knock you unconscious if you out here unjab and unhealthy. Yeah. If you unhealthy, go ahead and go join them with jabbing. Go ahead and jab yourself because you not you don't want to build up your own health, inner health. You're yeah. in a, you're in a wealth, you're in a health. So I recommend go to that boxing ring and go get jabbed over there to at least help beat the severity of what might happen to you. Agreed. Um, but other than that, 
if you taking care of yourself and you unjobbed, you should be good. I also want to make you not be fooled by the news as well. Well, for me, the second and third day, I was telling Darian that I had asthma when I was a kid, so I know the feeling of like constriction in your lungs, you know? Since the C is a respiratory illness. I felt that there was like a, a pressure on my chest. That's one thing that I noticed. And if I didn't have strong lungs and knew how to breathe properly, that I felt like this was something that could have potentially progressed into something worse. I mean, thankfully I do take care of myself. We're aware of our breathing. We practice breath work and stuff like that. So I'm just really thankful for that because if I wasn't any of those things, I definitely could see how hospitalization could have happened. One thing I could say, the worst thing I am experiencing with Omarion and the other variant is that I'm realizing, I don't know if it's a form of like dementia or what, but oh, there's yeah. like a fog of my, my brain. It goes blank a lot. And the two things that I'm experiencing that hasn't gone away yet is a cough. I wasn't coughing the first three days, but towards the end now i'm coughing and i think the same for maryland mm -hmm. and the brain fog it's like your brain goes empty like you could be thinking about talking about something and your brain just goes empty with that being said go ahead and hit that like go hit that subscribe remember if you on job take care of yourself peace mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jingle. Jingle bell. Jingle bell. Jingle bell. Jingle. You got it? What is it? Gingivilla. Gingivilla? Yeah. Gingivilla. Gingivilla. Gingivilla.